hello everyone welcome to solve this nice math olympiad algebra problem so here we have 7 plus x is equals to x and we solve this problem for the values of x so i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we solve this problem for two methods and i hope so you like both of these methods and now here in first method uh, first we can uh, find the value of x uh, for this we need to take the squaring on both of the sides so when you take squaring it will be written as 7 plus x whole square equals to x square and now here in the next step we need to use here the nice algebraic formula and you know about that if we have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square so this is the value of our a and this is the value of our b and now we need to put these two values of a and b in the right hand side of below formula so according to this formula we will expand the left hand side as 7 square plus 2 times of a b so here our a is 7 and b is x plus b square so b is x square and this whole equation equals to x square and now in the next step uh, we need uh, to simplify the terms and here we add or subtract the like terms so you see here this is 7 square and 7 square equals to 49 this is 2 times of 7 becomes 14 x and this is our x square and now we move this x square in the left hand side and it will become minus x square and this whole equation equals to zero this is negative term and positive term are gone and we obtain here 49 plus 14x equals to zero and you see here uh, from here we easily get the value of x uh, and we move this 49 to the right hand side and you get here 14 x is equals to this is positive 49 when we move here it will becomes negative 49 and because we solve this problem for the values of x so that uh, we, we need to eliminate 14 from left hand side so that we divide both of the sides by 14 and now you see here this 14 is cancelled out by this 14 and in the left hand side we get x only equals to minus 49 divided by 14 so this is the value of x in this problem and now in the next step we need to verify this value of x uh, is this value of x is satisfied our given question statement or not so that for verification of the values of x we need to copy down the given question statement here it is 7 plus x is equals to x and now we need to put this value of x on both of the sides and we check that is this value of x is satisfied our given question statement or not so we have this is 7 plus x the value of x is minus 49 divided by 14 and it is equals to minus 49 divided by 14 so here uh, first we need to take the LCM in the left hand side uh, so for this uh, you see here we have uh, we need to make the denominator of this term are same because the denominator of this term is 1 so we will make first the same so in order to make this 14 we need to multiply upper term and lower term by 14 in this form and here we have this is plus minus minus and 49 divided by 14 and here we check that is this equals to minus 14 over minus 49 over 14 or not okay so here you see that uh, 14 times of 7 is equals to 98 and 14 times of 1 equals to 14 minus 49 divided by 14 and this is here we check that this is equals to 49 over 14 or not 
so in the next step uh, we need to take uh, the LCM of this term <clears throat> and uh, here when you take the LCM of this term so you get here uh, this 14 is cancelled out by this 14 and we will get here 98 minus this 14 is cancelled out by this 14 and we get here 49 and here we check that is this equals to minus 49 over 14 or not so here we need to subtract uh, 49 98 minus 49 and you see here 98 minus 49 is equals to 49 over 14 so you see that uh, this is uh, the left hand side is uh, plus 49 over 14 and the right hand side is minus 49 over 14 and you see here uh, both of these sides are not equal so if uh, both of these sides are not equal this means that uh, the value of x is equals to minus 49 over 14 is not satisfied our given question statement so here we can just write that x is not satisfied our given question statement so if this not satisfied our question statement then finally we say that our given question has no real solution okay so uh, this is our final answer which we get here from first method and now we move forward uh, for second methods to again solve this problem so in the second method uh, first we need to copy down uh, the given question statement here and the given question statement is 7 plus x equals to x so here uh, in second method we can just uh, check directly um, is uh, this here we have the value of x is exist in this case or not so when you move this x to the right hand side you see here this is plus x when we move in the right hand side it will becomes minus x and you know that x minus x becomes here 0 and you clearly see here 7 is not equals to 0 so in this case uh, you see here the value of x is not exist here you cannot find the value of x directly but in uh, first method uh, you see here I can just find the value of x but at the last that value of x is not satisfied our given question statement okay so uh, in second method uh, here this is the trivial method uh, you can just uh, uh, directly tells us that uh, this equation has no solution because you cannot get any value of x that satisfied this equation so that's why we will finally say that this equation has no real solution so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos